It's already been approved, but a plan to change Holt High School is still getting a lot of negative reaction. A group of parents called an emergency town hall meeting Saturday to voice their concerns to the district about plans to swap the building freshmen and seniors use. Lauren Fultenberg has that story. Because it was not in their plan. A meeting meant to put people at ease. We've been thoughtful. Uh, we've taken safety into consideration. Put them more on edge. It's very frustrating to me. How do we trust this plan if there's no other plan like it in America? It's become a touchy subject, a plan where Holt freshmen and seniors would trade places. Parents had their chance to take a shot at the district, asking questions about dropout rates, security, and transportation. With this change, is that going to make people think twice about whether Holt is where they want to send their kid. We're just saying that we're trying to do what's in the best interest of 5,800 kids. But one Holt Jr. says most of his classmates aren't so sure. We haven't been listened to at all at any point in time. We've got a room full of people who are all speaking out and saying this is a bad idea and yet there's been no change to the plan. I still do not feel that these parents' questions were answered directly. I'm just disappointed in the board members and in the school for not listening to all of us parents. But the super insists there are plenty of parents out there like Tim Hall. The decisions that are being made are to provide better opportunities and better preparation for our kids. There have been a lot of answers provided. All of them maybe haven't been heard. Even though the plan has been approved, the battle seems far from over. In Holt, Lauren Fultenberg, Fox 47 News. And parents can voice their opinions again Monday at a parent advisory meeting that's at 7 p.m. at Holt High School.